Hey guys, what's up? It's PC Helper here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game on your PC. Nowadays, it's been a very big issue because of the next generation games and their high system requirements. So today we are going to discuss how to fix lagging and stuttering of such games. So let's get started. Number one, changing video settings to low. So number one is changing the video settings to low, which is just go to your game and in options go to the video settings and change everything to low including the resolution, player detail level, environment quality rest everything to low it will surely work the lag will be reduced and your game will be running smoother than before but if you are a user who don't like to play games in low graphics and only want to play in high quality or great graphics then try the remaining workarounds number two downloading a game booster so a game booster is a software which one uses to put maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game so the game booster I recommend you is the Razer Cortex game booster so just go to Google search for download Razer Cortex game booster here on the first link right click open in link in new tab here it is razorzone.com slash cortex slash boost on this page just click on download and the download will get started it's of 118 MB once it's done it's very easy to use Just you just have to install it and once you have installed you will get Razer Cortex mode in your power options in power options is Razer Cortex power plan just switch to Razer Cortex mode before running a game so the game will work better than before number three change priority to high number three is very important step it's also for the same reason to put the maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game for example, uh, I'm running any particular software like I run Steam. So once I run Steam, for example, take it as a game. If Steam is a game, I I'll, I will run that game and then go to my task manager. And my task manager search for Steam. And here it is Steam. I'll right click on it and go to its details and in details here I'll right click on it and set the priority to high you just have to do the same with your games any game you want to do any game you want to reduce the lag just use the following step so number four delete temporary files it is a temporary fix for fixing lag but it really works your PC create temporary files as more as you use your PC so you have to delete this temporary files regularly so just go to your run command box by pressing windows plus R key and type temp -tem. select all the files here and permanently delete this they will not at all affect your PC they are just waste files then again here type percentage sign then again TEMP and again the percentage sign press enter here also select all the files and delete them and skip the files which are not being deleted now go to your local disk C and in C drive go to windows in windows go to system 32 here it is system 32 and in system 32 look for the prefetch folder oh as it if you are using a 64-bit operating system so you just have to use go to windows and search for prefetch in this folder only in your windows folder here it is prefetch in the windows folder Go to it, continue, and delete all the files here too. 
So now the temporary files are deleted. A lot of your PC's RAM is free. So whenever you run the game now, it will work efficiently with more power and more of your RAM in indulge in running the game. Number five is the most important step, which is updating your drivers. Updating your driver is the most important step because if your drivers are not updated, they will not allow you to run your game properly. So I'll show you how to update your drivers. I'm just giving an example. For example, if you're using uh, AMD drivers, so just search for update AMD drivers. Here, AMD provide an auto detect tool which automatically detects the version of graphic card you are using and then automatically will show if there is any update available for that. So just click on this AMD driver auto detect and here, from here just download it and once you download it open it and look for any update available for your driver then it will automatically download it so it's very important to keep your PC up to date now an additional way to fix lagging and stuttering is just run the game and once you have run the game go to a task manager For example, I'll show, I'll run the game NB2K17. The Razer Cortex has boosted it. Now I'll press OK. Now after it, I'll go to more details. And from the processes, I will remove the Windows Explorer, that is end task. Now I will run the game and the game will run without lag. Because Windows Explorer takes a lot of your PC's RAM, so just by clicking on alternate tab, you can go to your game, you can have access to your game and run the game. And once you are once you have done with your game and want to use your PC back and want to use the Windows Explorer again, just click on this file and in run new task, type explorer. Press enter and press OK. Now you will get your explorer back. It also takes up a lot of your PC's RAM. That's why I've asked you to do this step. It also really works. So that's it. These were, these, were, these were the steps which you have to follow to reduce lagging and stuttering of your games on your PC. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. For any questions, type in the comment box. And also please don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.